Hi everybody, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. Um, today I'm going to do a pure watercolour with no uh, line involved, no pen, no ink, no nothing like that, uh, just for the sake of relaxation. And my subject is going to be birds on a branch like this. Um, something like that. That's a sketch I did earlier just to try out the idea. And uh, today I'm going to be using my paint box because as I'm starting this painting, I've decided to go with a completely unplanned palette and I will choose colors from here as I go along and I'll tell you which ones I'm choosing as I go. Because for this kind of painting, which is going to be completely spontaneous, and no particular bird in mind, just imaginary birds. I'm going to be following the colour and just uh, filling in as I go. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I've done that before, lots of times actually, but um, we did one a little while ago. Uh, I called it Doodle Birds, and this is a similar kind of thing. So this is, you could say, birds on a wire or birds on a branch or something like that. So I'm going to do the sketch now and I will come back to you momentarily. So hold on to your hats and don't go away. Okay, I'm back and I've done the sketch now of three birds on a twig with some flowers and some leaves. And I was kind of thinking blue jay, red cardinal and an anonymous bird in the middle there. Um, but I'm not going to make any effort to be a botanic, uh, one of the logically accurate, but uh, I might uh, consider um, maybe making this one on the blue side and this one on the red side and this one somewhere in between. Um, so let's see, um, I think I will start, let's start in the middle, no let's start at the top. Let's start at the top with the blue one and um, let's go for some turquoise. Turquoise in the top part here and as I said, I'm going to be dipping into my paints a little bit randomly and I'm hoping this is going to work. So uh, bear with me. So this is cobalt blue. Um, and uh, let's add a little bit more turquoise there. thing to do when you do this, and I'm taking a deep breath as I say it, is to try to relax and just enjoy. Um, Talking about paper uh, the other day, I was mentioning that I've been doing a lot of painting on hot press paper recently because I found a stash of it in my um, plan chest where I keep my paper. I discovered that a lot of the paper that I thought was um, hot press, that is to say the traditional watercolour that we tend to use most, um, actually turned out to be cold press. So that's fine and I'm going to use it because I can't bear the idea of it going to waste. And so I started to use it and I discovered that I actually really like it. It's, um, it's lovely to paint on when you're doing something like this because it's so smooth. And uh, you can just, I don't know, has a completely different, completely different uh, feel to it. So if you haven't tried hot press, give it a try. Buy yourself a pad or something. I'll put some links below in the description and uh, you could visit my friend Jackson and see whether he's got anything you fancy. They've got some really good prices on their um, website, Jackson's have. They've got, I don't know, looked to me when I had a quick glance the other day, like they've got 30% uh, or more off of everything. And if you, um, if you place an order from my links, your first order you'll get 10% off, so you could stock up and get a really good deal. I think I might do the same. Now, just playing. Um, I used to go to an art group and um, when I lived 
in Bermuda. My husband was working there. We're not rich or anything like that. Um, when we lived there, actually we were pretty poor, as a matter of fact. But I belonged to the American Women's Club and uh, we had an art group and it was great fun because we used to sit and chat and paint and those were the days. You forget what you were doing, you get home and you have a look and you think, oh, oh I did. <laughs> or, oh my God, look what I did. I did that in public. Okay, so that one will let dry and we'll come on to number two. I'm all for using a little limited palette some of the time, but sometimes it's nice to just play around and pick up whatever you fancy. That was, that was ultramarine, but I'm looking for something to make it a bit more... Um, Blackish, brownish. One thing with um, hot press is that it can run, as you can see, that looks horrendous there, but we'll sort that out later. That will be okay in the end. And uh, yeah, it's, it does run worse than the cold press paper. We'll have to do two lots of this. It will not work with just one going over. And this one, I think he looks a bit like a red cardinal. So I'm not going to paint him all red though. Because that would be a bit dramatic, wouldn't it? bit of alizarin crimson in with the um, cadmium red. I'm going to have to put some black in here when that dries. Okay, so there's my first layer and noticing the rather unfortunate run here. I'm just going to dab that out because it's just too much water. Lost control of the water there, Diane. And I uh, don't like that bit either. So I'll take that out. We'll let that dry and then we can correct that. Meanwhile, let us do the <coughs> stick. Stick. A branch. I'm going to do it brown today. Light brown. The reason for the choice of light brown is simply that um, the birds are going to be pretty colourful, so we don't want um, don't want too much colour, do we? And then we've got some, just a few leaves up here, indications of 
leaves. And then I drew in a few sort of flowery types of things, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do flowery types of things. I'm just going to drop in some, some spatter. Don't worry, I haven't finished yet. These birds are only halfway done, but I have got to go and feed the dogs. So I'm doing this now, and then I'm going to let that dry, and I will be back shortly. Okay, well, we're all nice and dry now, and um, I've got some corrections to make and some steps to take. If this is um, the bird at the top, if this is going to be something remotely resembling a blue jay, we should probably give him a stripe coming down here towards his eye. And then I'm just going to drop his eye in. Like that. And uh, while I've got the black in my brush, I will put some little dashes of black there and we will pop his um, foot in there too and I'll put a little bit more black top of his beak and just underneath and maybe just strengthen that there a little bit and I'll leave that for the minute and then this is such a nice uh, pointy brush, this one. It's quite new and it's still got a lovely sharp point. It makes such a difference. Now, this one, this little Anonu, I have no idea what kind of bird this is. It's just a bird. So we we'll just pop his eye in and his beak. And then shall we just strengthen his wing feathers a little bit? Like that his feet maybe a little bit more black in his tail and then down here we've got the uh, the cardinal and I think I'm going to start by putting his eye in as well but his eye is kind of behind a uh, quite striking masks sort of thing. Really very difficult bird to paint. And his, um, his beak I think is yellow. So I'm going to put yellow in for the beak and hope that I can make it run a little bit so it looks natural. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Maybe it needs a little bit of red on the top as well. We let that run. And then um, we want some, um, a little bit of maybe Minacridone gold on the back and up here in the tail feathers and then some black there and then I think they have some kind of yeah and then we need to do his feet legs Let's make that a little less sad. And um, okay, I'm not going to add too much black because it's going to start to get really messy if we do that.
So let me see. I think we want some a little bit more spatter. So we'll take my sword liner brush and we'll pop in some cobalt blue, I think. We already did some green. That will do. And then I'm going to just smear that a little bit. I don't like that bit where that's landed on his tail, so we'll get rid of that. And, okay, looking at him, I think possibly we might want just a tiny bit more red. There we are. So three birds on a branch. You could um, obviously develop the uh, leaves a little bit more. You can put some veins into them if you want to, using a fine liner of some sort. You could come in with a bit of, um, uh, with some ink if you wanted to, to do some line and what line work on it but I quite like it a little bit simple like that so I'm going to leave it like that and just uh, get rid of some of my superfluous spatter don't like that and uh, oh yeah I'll tell you what I was going to do before I say goodbye I was just going to darken his forehead a little bit Okay, so there we are. That's an idea for something to do by way of a change. Pure watercolour, no ink, nothing like that, bit of pencil. Thank you very much for being with me this afternoon. Please go to the description below the video and check out the links to Jackson's and Amazon as well, of course. If you need to buy anything at all, we would really appreciate you going through our links to get to the suppliers. Jackson's is very reliable, has got very good feedback, and I know that you'll be happy with them wherever you live. Um, and then on my website, dianeanton.com, there is the free traceables for most of the drawings and paintings that I've done, so you can go there and download those. And obviously there's the Facebook group. If you would like to join the Facebook group, Learn to Paint Watercolour, uh, I think we've got about 11,000 members now, it's amazing. And there's lots of support on there for you too. So I will say good evening, goodbye, good night, Good morning, good day, good morrow, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.